Hey everybody, Ricky and I'm handicapping thoroughbred racing for my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Granville, Pennsylvania, on Saturday evening, St. Patrick's Day, March the 17th, and this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race five tonight, folks, 7.38 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a six furlong sprint on the dirt track, four year olds and up race for allowance prize of some $40,000. Contenders, number seven, Cortado, number two, Crockerfeller, number one, Jailbreak Charlie, and number six, one in, in the dark. Number seven, Cortado, has hit the board in four of his last five with two of those efforts, including a win his last time out, also qualifying as power runs. Jockey David Cora was in his irons for that win. 13 nights ago here at Penn National is back tonight for his second ride, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number two, Crockerfeller, a four-to-one shot, drops in class by three units, has hit the board in two of his last three, winning in his third race back. He's coming off a power run place, finishing his last start, facing better company in that race, missing a circle trip by just the photograph neck at the wire. Race five summary, number seven, Cortado, Tops my contenders list tonight, which also includes number two, Crockerfeller, number one, Jailbreak Charlie, and number six, one in the dark, 7216 in the fifth tonight from Penn National. Bonus long shots, Parks Racing, race seven, number three, Harlequin Sky, an eight to one shot, drops in class by nine units, is the speed leader in this claiming field, racing at the mile distance on the dirt. Charlestown, race seven, number three, Cat Tail Run, four to one in the morning line, has hit the board in power run fashion in each of her last four outings, including a power run win in her second race back. So from Penn National on a Saturday night, St. Patrick's Day, it's going to be a wild night here at Penn National. I believe there's going to be a lot of drinking going on, including me. Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.